Hey, what's going on, everybody? Who be winning? You sick? Back again with another video. Uh, controversial review scores. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we're going to be talking about the Washington Post review of Uncharted 4. Now, Uncharted 4 has gotten absolutely rave reviews. is one of is one of this generation's most critically acclaimed games. Uh, nines and tens across the board. You know, all the, all the good stuff. And I have it. I'm about I'm about ten chapters in. Plus, you know, I've also dabbled in the multiplayer. So, I, I'm enjoying the game so far. Um, now, there was a controversy when it came to this review score from the Washington Post. The art, the the guy who did the review, his name is Michael Thompson. Uh, I've never heard of him until then, but he's done freelance work uh, before. And he reviewed the the game and gave it a 4 out of 10. That's a huge. That, I I believe that's the only negative review that the game has gotten so far. Um, you know, outside of the salty Xbox fanboys. <laughs> but um, you know, but the game he gave it a, a, a four point ten, a four out of ten. And the thing is, is that the controversy behind behind it was a bit confusing to me because because there's a petition and there's a in the in this petition not some random stupid petition this petition very sizable petition I, and last time i checked there was around six thousand people who signed the petition and even the voice of sam uh troy baker even kind of um kind of you know endorsed this petition as well against the washington post now the confusing part about this review is it goes twofold one there was no score in the review there was no, they, there wasn't a a like a final score of the review. Now, according to the title that you're looking at right now, it definitely has a it definitely has a very negative uh, connotation to it. You know, all, and then secondly, the thing that I didn't confuse a lot of people was there was this notion that the that the that the uh, that the review score was a form of satire. Or kind of like this a joke um, article or, or a joke review or what have you. But according to the article I'll have down below in the description. Um, it's a Forbes article where they interviewed, you know, the, the guy himself, Michael Thompson, regarding his review. And he says flat out that he endorsed the review. Like he endorsed the, uh, the score. So, you know, we can argue about the score all we want. But at the end of the day, here's the deal. Now the petition. Uh, let me back up a little bit. The the petition is to remove the score from Metacritic, because I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that a lot of people had the understanding that it was a satire piece, that it wasn't a real review. But according to what he's saying, it's a real review. So, so my my overall point is this: even though we don't like the the review, and you know, I I haven't read it personally myself because it contains spoilers from what I've heard, so I don't want to. I don't want to take the chance to read it, but from what other people have read, obviously, you know, people don't like the review, or what have you, but regardless, regardless of his review, like, you know, it's his, it's his opinion, like, it's not, it's not something to get, to get upset about, you know what I'm saying, like, maybe, I know, probably, hopefully, it's really just more people kind of being confused about the satire aspect of, of the potential satire aspect of it, but... The thing is, is that we've seen this happen before when it came to fanboys and reviews. Like just, just a couple of days, just a couple of weeks ago, a weeks ago, there was a review in progress by Lucy O'Brien of IGN, in which she she had a preliminary score for Uncharted 4 at an 8.8, and an 8.8 is obviously a great score. But there were a few PlayStation fanboys who got crazy about it accused her of, 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 you know, of feminism and, and all these other BS. And, and, you know, like, these type of reactions to these reviews is unnecessary. Like, again, again, I want to make sure that a lot of people are probably just more confused about, you know, the, the origins of this, of the article piece instead of just the, the article itself like I know there are some people who are always going to be upset that their favorite game doesn't get a 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10 or what have you but for something like this for for a score that's very abnormal I hope people are not just going crazy about it just to go crazy over it I'm sure some people are 
But mainly, it, it is what it is. Like, he, he seemed to be legit. Like, again, I don't have to agree with the, dude's art, with the dude's article, or I don't have to agree with his score. It is what it is. I just play the game and move on with my life. So, I mean, that's pretty much all I have to say. Tell me what you guys think below, down below. This is Hoobie186. I'm out. Peace.